Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So now in the Major League Baseball season is beginning the second half. So things are really going to start heating up over the next few months before the playoff time comes. So we will look at games for July 23rd. Before we do, I want to invite you to join. You will have access to the VIP club section. Again, you see all these tools, all these tabs here across the top. All these have great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at these games. There are pretty much a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at five of them. Um, the first game on our list for today is Detroit and Cleveland. It's going to be a pretty good game. We're not going to look at that one. Uh, we're going to take a look at five of these. Uh, San Diego and Washington, the New York Mets, and the New York Yankees. This is always a good battle between the New York teams. The Mets come in... Um, Average stats four and two over the last six. The Yankees are average down. Also, actually no, they're three and three over the last six. Uh, the pitching matchup is Jose Quintana for the Mets and Luis Gill for the Yankees. If you look at the pitching matchup more carefully, um, Quintana is four and six with a 4.13 ERA, but a relatively poor bet at minus twelve dollars in the pitcher profit oscillator. While Gill is having an excellent season, ten and five with a 3.17 ERA. And it is a very solid bet at plus two hundred and seventy dollars. If you look at the over under, you can see the teams involved in the game over the line in the last seven. And the score prediction is all Yankees nine to two, but the confidence in the prediction is still rather low at forty four percent. If you take a look at the power ranks indicated, the Yankees have the plus eighteen to plus three edge in the head to head matchup. The teams have met uh, twice this season. With the Mets winning both times uh, as the home team, 12 to 2 and 9 to 7. If you look at the stability factor, see here the Yankees are more consistently uh, performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats. We can see since uh, the middle of June, very uh, unstable. They were at plus 16 and now they are at plus 7. So overall, still moderately consistent, but a downward trend. So in the end, though, I like the Yankees. They have a better pitcher. Um, they're playing at home. So I like the Yankees relatively easily in a game over the line. The next game we want to look at is going to be the Philadelphia Phillies and the Minnesota Twins. The Phillies come in still with the best record in the National League, um, but they are averaged down at the moment just 3-3 three and three over the last six. Minnesota is also averaged down 3-3 three and three over the last six as well. And Minnesota comes in second in the... NL, or AL Central, excuse me, behind the Cleveland Guardians. Uh, if you take a look at the over-under streaks, you can see that the Phillies involved games over the line in the last four. In Minnesota, under four of the last five. So uh, trending on opposite sides of the line. The score prediction has Minnesota by an 8-2 to two score with 64% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranks in the care, not a surprise because both teams are not playing well at the moment. Downward trends with Minnesota plus 11, Philadelphia at uh, plus 5. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, both teams are very consistent. You see, mostly an upward trend. You know, there's a little blips where, the, where there's going down, but it's mostly an upward trend for both teams. Plus 28 for Philadelphia, plus 20 for Minnesota, which means they're very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Uh, Philadelphia is really, really good at, on the road at 25 and 19, but Minnesota is also really good at home, 27 and 18. This should be a good contest, but I like the Phillies. And I wrote upset. I'm going to pass on the over under. The next game I want to look at is Minnesota and the Chicago. I'm uh, no Minnesota. Milwaukee and the Chicago Cubs. This is an NL Central battle, and you see Milwaukee is leading the division, and the Cubs are at, in the basement. Um, right now, Milwaukee is just two and four over the last six. Ice cold up versus average down for the Cubs, three and three over their last six. If you look at the over under. Uh, let's see four. Nine out of the last 12 games between the two teams have been uh, involved uh, over the line. But the score prediction shows a very low score in contest of 3 2 in favor of Milwaukee. Confidence in the prediction is rather low, though, at 51%. On the power ranks indicator, where it was once a huge edge for the Cubs here, now it is a very slight edge. Even though the Cubs are down in um, the basement, this does not go. The power ranks indicator doesn't go in overall record it goes with how they're playing at the moment and you can see the Cubs now are plus 14 to plus 13 over Milwaukee in that category 
If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that Milwaukee, if you scroll down through here, you see Milwaukee has pretty much won the contest over the Cubs. In fact, the total is six games to four in favor of, of Milwaukee in the season series. Um, and there's a big difference in the run differential as well with a plus 79 to minus eight run differential edge for Milwaukee. Um, I like the Brewers to win this, increase their read over the Cubs, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Okay, we're going to look at Arizona and the Kansas City Royals. The Arizona Diamondbacks, the NL defending NL champions, come in burning hot 5-1 over the last six, while the Royals are average up 4-2 over the last six. So both teams are playing good ball as of late. The trends for the over-under is mostly gained over the line, and the score prediction if this would hold true, 7-6 to six in favor of Kansas City, that would be an over-the-line uh, bet. Um, the power ranks indicator shows Arizona at plus 29 and Kansas City at plus 24. So these are two of the hottest teams in the league at the moment. Kansas City has one of the best home records in the league at 32-18. and 18. That's one thing to uh, keep in mind in this one. If you look at the stability factor, both teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. A few little up and down uh, trends here going on for both teams, but overall pretty much in line with their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like Kansas City to win this one, and I like it to be a high-scoring game. So let's go with the Royals and over the line. Boston and Colorado. Houston and Oakland. This is a lot of games here. Again, we're taking a look at five like we usually do. This is the last one. We're going to look at the Giants and the Dodgers. Again, this is going to be a good battle between NL West rivals. Neither team playing well as of late. You can see ice cold down versus ice cold up at both teams two and four over the last six. If you take a look at the over under, you can see uh, games trending under the line four out of the last six for the Dodgers, uh, four out of the last six over for the Giants. So, uh, when it's on opposite sides of the line, a lot of times I will pass on the over-under. The score prediction has the Dodgers 7-1. to one. Confidence in the prediction yet is still rather low at only 53%. If we take a look at the power ranks, uh, yeah, you can see the Dodgers up at plus 7, while the Giants have plummeted from 19 down to 4 as of late. Let's see the consistency factor. Are they performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats? Let's take a look here. Um, okay, so this does not appear to want to load. Let's try it again. Uh, the old Tony Sawyer. Okay, here we go. So the Dodgers are the more consistent team here at plus, 14, at plus 18 compared to only plus 4 for the Giants. And in fact, the Giants haven't been very consistent all year. The highest they've been is plus 10 back on uh, May the 19th. The Dodgers are very good at home at 29 and 19, and the Giants are very poor on the road at 19 and 29. Um, that's going to play a factor here. If you look at the how the two teams have fared between each other this year, you see the Giants won three out of the last four, but the the, the Dodgers won the previous uh, five before then, and I like the trend to continue for the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers will win this game and further burying the Giants in the division. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for July 23rd. Happy betting. See you next time.